there's two parts to it. I'd say one of them is when uh, parties lack liquidity, but they have a lot of assets value on paper. And how do you then structure a settlement that provides security for the party who's being paid, but also gives the party who's needs to, you know, potentially pay a sum of money to the other side to equalize the assets, the, the ability to do so. And I think the second part is just getting information, especially when you might be representing the party who's maybe on the outside. And so that being able to get that information to really assess the value of the assets, if there's anything that might really not be transparent uh, just from the basic financial information that, that's disclosed. Thank you.